Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLTF Tech channel. Today we will talk about the workflows in Dynamic CRM. <coughs> workflows are uh, the processes that are used to uh, automate our simple and complex business processes. In our upcoming videos, we will also talk about uh, plugins that are mostly used to automate the complex business processes. Uh, for simple and uh, uh, intermediate level processes, uh, workflows are uh, mostly used. So uh, you can either create workflows using your CRM out of the box functionality and uh, you can also write custom workflows using .NET code for implementing complex workflows. Workflows processes can uh, run in background or in real time. Those processes that are uh, running in background are known as asynchronous workflows while if you are configuring them to run in real time uh, scenarios then it is known as synchronous workflows. <coughs> So uh, last of all, workflows can be triggered based on specific conditions or manually by the users. Uh, you can configure the uh, workflows that uh, if any condition is met, that is any field uh, is updated with some particular or specific value, uh, the workflow will be triggered. Similarly, you can allow the users that whenever they want to uh, execute the workflow, they can do it manually. So workflow sequence is that uh, first of all we will configure the entity on which the workflow will run and after that we will specify whether the workflow will run synchronously or asynchronously that is in background or in real time. Uh, similarly we can also con we will configure the message or the event on which workflow will run. It is known as the event that uh, on particular event uh, the, uh, the workflow will execute and uh, after that we will see that what will be the conf one what will be what will be the scope of the workflow whether it will affect the values on uh, the same entity or it will affect another entity similarly we will configure the stages and steps of the workflow uh, and these are overall the sequences in which we will have to configure the workflow sequence which we are going to do in our upcoming video Similarly, uh, we will talk about synchronous workflows and in uh, asynchronous workflows. Uh, that is, when you create, whenever you will create a workflow, uh, you will uh, see the option to run the workflow in the background. That is recommended. Uh, it means that uh, whenever you run the workflow and it is uh, executed on millions of values or thousands of values, it will occupy a lot of resources of your uh, actual physical server on which your dynamics is configured uh, so it will result in degradation of the uh, bandwidth or the performance of the system if it is being used by other departments as well so it is always recommended that you configure the most of the workflows in the background so that they may be executed in the off timing when there is a minimum road load on your system you can also uh, configure the workflows to be run in real time that is on synchronous mode as well. Uh, workflow registration is that uh, whenever you, you uh, create a workflow you registered it on specific events that is you can uh, create a workflow to be create uh, to be uh, to be triggered on a particular event that is uh, when a record is created when a record status changes when anyone uh, assign the record to anyone and when a record field value changes and when a record is deleted okay so these are some of the workflows registration uh, events we will see in our later video practically uh, now we will see the what is the workflow scope workflows allow you to set the scope in which the workflow will run whether the scope will be on uh, one entity or whether it will be on multiple entities so, uh, so following are the supported workflow uh, scopes that is uh, user user means that workflow will run only the records owned by the same user as the workflow user you can uh, allow the scope up to the business unit that is workflow will run on the records owned by the users of the business unit same as the workflow user parent child business unit and organization level uh, you can configure the workflows 